Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, line segment uh, AD as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, ADC. And moreover, uh, this uh, segment AD is uh, 26 units. This uh, tiny segment uh, BD is uh, 8 units, whereas uh, this segment uh, DC is uh, 28 units. And once again, uh, this side uh, AB equal to this side uh, AC. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle ACD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side BC length uh, is going to be equal to 8 plus 28 is going to give us uh, 36 units. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, AE on this uh, side uh, BC, as you can see. And now we know that this uh, triangle is an isosceles triangle and AE is the perpendicular then this uh, perpendicular AE is going to bisect uh, this uh, base uh, BC into two equal parts. In other words, uh, BE length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment length uh, EC. If this total length is uh, 36, uh, then this uh, length has got to be 18 and this length is uh, 18 as well. So therefore, uh, BE equal to EC is going to be equal to 18 units. And now we can see this uh, tiny segment BD is uh, 8 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, DE length is going to be 18 minus 8 is going to give us uh, 10 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AED. And I'm going to label uh, this perpendicular uh, AE as our height, uh, lowercase h. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, 26, whereas uh, our two other legs are uh, lowercase uh, h uh, and 10 units. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, h square plus uh, 10 square equals to 26 uh, square. Let's simplify. We can write uh, h square plus uh, 100 equal to 676. And now I am going to subtract uh, 100 from both uh, sides. And here we can see this 100 and negative 100, they are gone. So therefore, h square value turns out to be 576 and I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our uh, height uh, lowercase uh, h turns out to be equal to 24 units. So therefore our this uh, lowercase h value turns out to be 24 units. And now let's focus once again on this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ACD. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, green shaded triangle is uh, 28 units whereas the height of this triangle is uh, 24. So therefore, uh, the green shaded triangle area is going to be a half uh, times the base is uh, 28 uh, times the height is uh, 24. 
and if we simplify and multiply the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 336 uh, square uh, units uh, the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ACD so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ACD turns out to be 336 uh, square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye